Okay, so if you've used Touch Develop before, you'll notice that uh, some things have changed recently. So if you want to start your first script, uh, we're going to go through lesson one here. So if you create a script, if you just click, click on that, uh, so this time it gives you a lot of options and different apps you can make to a beatbox, and it gives you some examples, but we're just going to start off with a blank template, so we're going to go to blank and this is going to be an app that just simply shows you how to set the background so background app 2 because I've done this before so I'm going to create that by clicking on this button here and you've got a blank script here now we need to control the height and the width and we need to do this by setting up variables so we're going to set up two variables first, so if I click on the add, then the V for the variable, and it's a number. So we'll click here, this one's going to be called height, and we're going to add another one in, and you guessed it, this one's going to be called width. So if you scroll down, we've got the height and the width now. Now in order to show anything on our screen we also need to have something called a board. So if we go to add v uh, and we're going to have a board variable. We've now got the three, three things we need in order to make our app. So there's one more thing I want to do and I'm going to add in a picture. So this will be our background. So if I press the add, I'm going to go to pick for picture and if I scroll down I can upload a picture so let's have a look on my so choose file and what it will do is it will open up and you can go into your documents I'm just going to find a picture in my folder so there's my pictures and I should have something in here like a honey pot so I'm going to upload that and press publish and I've now got an example of a game I made earlier now in order to start the coding if I go to the main what I need to do is click into it to start the coding now the good thing about this is you can actually add breakpoints in but I'll explain these later but for example if I go to data I can set my height variable up and assign a height of a standard Windows phone which is 800. Let me show you that again. Go to data and this time I'm going to use width and assign 480 to it. Now what I'm going to do next is I need to actually start applying the, back, the background to the picture. So what I'm going to do here is go on to data all right and board all right because I'm going to create a board now and if you go along you should be able to oh click on assignment media okay and we're going to create a portrait board. Now you'll notice here we've got 480 by 800. The way to get around this is if you just simply delete these and replace them by pressing data and use these variables. This is just good programming. So this time I'm going to go to data and replace this with the height. So that, so that way when we're editing, editing our code all we need to do is just edit these numbers now and it will change the size of our board. So our next line we need to do is we need to actually set the picture. So if we go to data, because we need to use our board, all right, board, and we need to set the background picture. Now don't click here because a lot of people click set background. You need to go to the second menu and you can set the background picture. And the good thing about Touch Develop is that you can click into the placeholder 
and then go and look for the artwork you uploaded earlier by clicking on art and clicking the picture you need. Now if you were to run this code now you'll notice it will say downloading but it won't actually run it. The last thing we need to do when programming a simple app is you need to actually post it back to the wall. So to do this all we do is go to data board and click on post to wall. Now what we have here is a simple app that posts it to the wall and if you run it there's my background and I could even go back add more artwork if I wanted and change that so I'll just show you that quickly add picture let's go let's call this football field and what I can do is actually search online art pictures and search for pictures that might already be there so there's a stadium, I'm going to use that. That's now my picture, so if I go back to my code, main, I can remove that and change it to football. So now if I run it, it's downloading the art, and then what you should see is that's my background. So you can use artwork which is already online as well. Uh, and that's the first tutorial that shows you how to set the background of a mobile phone app in TouchDevelop.